the most powerful weapon a narcissist has. The most powerful weapon a narcissist has isn't actually anything of their own because they don't have any power. They get you to hand your power over to them. And that is how they control you. Their most powerful weapon is your mind. Because that's what makes them appear strong. When really, they're actually very weak. And it's also the only weapon that they have. All they can do is use your mind against you. By making you validate the false reality and the illusion. Because if you believe it, it makes it more believable for them which makes it easier for them to detach from reality and exist in the illusion. Your mind is very powerful. It has control and influence over other people and events. It produces great force and energy, and it has the power to create amazing things. But they're not concerned about that, because narcissists only care about themselves and their own agenda. So they're trying to direct your mind towards whatever will benefit them, or whatever will give them control over you, rather than something that serves you. They will use your own mind against you, but you can take back your own power by realizing that you can use your mind to reject their proposals and ideas. And it all starts by developing the awareness of what they're trying to do. Because up until now you may have been on autopilot. You may have been accepting their proposals without question. So you were taking whatever they were dishing out because you've already been groomed. You've already been prepared and trained for this particular purpose and activity, which they're already aware of. Because they've been stalking and watching you. They've been studying your likes and dislikes so that they can use your mind against you. Which is why if you like something, they will withhold it from you or they will destroy it. And if you don't like something, they will put you through it or expose you to it. Because since you've already been groomed, you've already been prepared and trained for this purpose. They're assuming that you're already going to go along with it. And they also assume that if they don't give you what you like, then you're going to suffer. But they do have a lot of weaknesses. They have a lot of disadvantages and faults. And one of them is that they assume. They make a lot of assumptions. They suppose something to be the case without proof or evidence because they want to have power. They want the ability to direct and influence your behavior and the course of events which requires them to have some level of certainty of something which they will attach to very quickly 
even though they may be wrong. Because they want to have that power over you. And this is one of their main weaknesses. Because they didn't take the time to properly assess the situation. They jumped right into it. Because they were power hungry. They had a strong desire for power. And by doing that they had to assume a lot of things about you. They had to accept things to be true. Without question or proof. They had to assume an air of confidence. Even though they may have been unsure. But that is what influences you to submit and hand your power over to them. It's what gives them the ability to take control of your mind. But that's only if you give them the power to do that. Because if you remain unaffected by it. And you remain unchanged and unmoved. Then they don't get any power from you. Because they're not affecting you. They're not influencing you. They're not making a difference. They're not upsetting or troubling you. Their force is not bringing about a change in your nature or behavior, which is what they're trying to do. They want to change you. They want to cause you to become progressively worse. They want to dominate and control you. But to do that, they first need to be able to influence and change your beliefs. They need to be able to sway you in the direction that they want you to go. Rather than where you would naturally go. In your own mind. And they will do that by subjecting you to these things. But if your mind is too powerful and strong and it won't work willingly or cooperate with them, then they have no power at all. Their power comes from your mind. It comes from them getting you to think and agree with them. And that's really the only weapon they've got. It's the only thing they can use against you. They invest so much of their time and attention. And they go to great lengths to make you suffer. Because they recognize that you are special and unique. And they know that you have a very powerful mind. They're power hungry and they're ego driven. So they want some of that for themselves. And they may also use your empathy against you by torturing other people in front of you. By hurting them because they already know that you care. They know that you don't want anyone to get hurt. So that's another thing they will use to punish you. They will use your positive qualities against you to make you suffer. But you need to recognize the power of your mind. You need to recognize that it is not only the most powerful weapon they have, but it's also the only weapon they have. They see you as a machine, rather than a person. They push your buttons in the hopes that you will feel the way that they assume you're going to feel when they push it. Which derives from the grooming stage. Where they try to train you to feel certain emotions to certain people, events or situations. But if you don't feel the way that they desire and expect you to feel, then they haven't got any power. Because they can't generate any power on their own. They can't generate it from within. They have to get it from you. So you have the power in your mind to deny them the ability of influencing you.
but then it does become like a game to them. And it can get them addicted to you. Because it's like intermittent reinforcement. A delivery of a reward at regular intervals. If at times they do manage to get what they want from you. It's like a roll of the dice or playing a slot machine. It's unpredictable. And when the outcome or result is unknown. This has been scientifically proven to yield the greatest effort from the subject, which in a way is their own punishment and possibly their karma. Because their own weapon is being used against them, they're subjecting themselves to an unpleasant fate. They're sinking deeper and deeper into something that is no good for them because they're the ones using up all of their energy to try to get your attention trying to get you to react but they have no other option because your mind is the only weapon they have thank you for watching if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash darksurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.